everyone so I just wanted to drop into your feed and talk a little bit about how as a therapist you can treat pain related to cancer uh, pain is a massive indication in a healthy body pain is an indication that something is wrong but when you have cancer or when you're dealing with you know anything cancer or the the treatments that come with cancer oftentimes pain is just something that you live with um, there was a massive study that I will link to below that um, surveyed people and up to 60% of people with cancer had pain. So as you guys know, as therapists, pain can be something that derails or even halts your plan of care. If your patient is in pain, there's not much you can do and it's very hard to convince them to do ADLs or um, yoga or whatever else it is that you want to do with them if their pain is so debilitating that it's limiting their their treatments. So um, as clinicians, it's really important for us to consider the fact that our patient is going to be in pain um, or that they're dealing with pain and how to incorporate it into our plan of care because it has to be a goal, otherwise we're not going to get very far. Um, so uh, a couple of things that you can do for your patient with cancer who's dealing with pain is manual therapy. So manual therapy, you know, some people think of it as massage, anything like that, positional release, myofascial release. Manual therapy is very, very powerful. In our edema course, we learn about the effect that manual lymphatic drainage has. Um, and one of the effects it has is analgesic. It has a very strong and powerful analgesic response. So using manual lymphatic drainage techniques with your patient with cancer can be a really important way to help them with their pain. And really very um, good thing to include in your therapeutic plan. Another thing that you might want to consider is exercise. I know for myself when I was a, a baby therapist uh, if I had someone with um, cancer and they were telling me that you know that they want to do therapy today my inclination was always like of course not of course you don't want to do it you're going through so much um, no worries I'll come back and try again tomorrow. Um, however Exercise is what is another really powerful thing that you can do with your patient who has cancer that has a um, powerful impact on cancer related fatigue. It has a powerful impact on their pain and it gets a lot of um, their circulation moving. It, it's, it's very helpful and very well documented as a uh, something that you can include in your plan of care to help address pain. And then of course you might want to use modalities modalities as therapists usually is something we're fairly comfortable with you know using NMES or TENS using uh, heat, ice, ultrasound you know the list goes on however when it comes to people with cancer or people recovering from cancer generally you may pause and think is modality something safe that I can use with this person and really the answer is it depends, you know, um, depending on your patient, depending on the location of their cancer and the level that they're at, modalities may be something you want to use. Oftentimes we kind of throw out modalities as an option whatsoever if your patient has cancer or has had cancer in the past and that's not always the fairest thing to do. So um, I'm going to also link below to a very handy cheat sheet that we have um, that kind of outlines when you might want to consider using heat, ice, TENS, ultrasound and so on with your patients with cancer. But really we are interested to know what is your ex experience working with people with cancer um, with pain? Like do you address it? Do you include it in your plan of care? I know for myself it wasn't something I used to include in my plan of care but now I absolutely do routinely set a pain goal for every patient and especially when they have cancer and they're going to be living with this it's something that you want to address right away um, in order to be successful so please drop any experience you have in the comments below uh, we read everything and love to respond so I'd love to get a discussion started thanks